Hi guys, and welcome to my May update of Project Minimalist, and it's gonna be a big one, so I strongly suggest pause, go get something to eat, make some sandwiches, maybe some peanut butter and jam, those are fine, um, maybe a nice big pot of tea, and then come back. You back? Cool. Um, first of all, hair is going purple. Gradually, slowly, it's getting to be purple. I'm very excited. Secondly, I got a new background so you don't have to look at that crap anymore and so I don't have to look at that crap anymore. This is basically a curtain like neck curtains draped over a clothing rail. I got it really cheap at Argos. I think the curtains were like eight pounds or something and the clothing rail was about eight, eight or nine pounds as well. So yeah, pretty cheap and cheerful. Um, I was thinking maybe at some point get some little fairy lights or something from Primark to drape over the place. Um, because the curtains are so cheap, I might get set in a different colour and you know I can change up the background from time to time so that will be cool but on to the topic of this video I know I missed last week's one um, because what I want to talk about is kind of like a big decision um, I've if I've ultimately cancelled all plans of going to London this year because it would actually ruin me financially to go. It would be highly irresponsible for me to go on a trip to London this year. It's just, it's not happening. Not happening at all. Can't afford it, will not be able to afford it, and I'm fine with it. It's fine. There's always next year. This year I want to focus on more important things. Um, my ultimate goal is to move out. My boyfriend and I, as you know, live with my parents and um, and before anyone starts um, commenting, you know, that we're like sponging off my parents, it's nothing like that at all. We had our own place, Nick lost his job, and we couldn't afford to live by ourselves. So, um, my parents let us stay with them. And, um, yeah. So, now we're saving to move out, like, everything, all the money we earn, kind of goes into a collective pot to try and save up to move out, because I don't want to rent. I, I really really don't want to rent. Renting is just money down the drain for very little security. You miss one month and your freaking landlord can like kick you out or something. It's stupid. Get behind your rent, you'll get thrown out. Whereas, you know, once you paid off a mortgage, your house is yours. So, I know there's probably a lot more to it than that. I'm not completely stupid, but you get the gist. I'd rather purchase my own home just for the sense of knowing it's my home and only the bank can take it away from me, you know? I'm so sick of living with other people or in other people's homes. It's... I want something that's mine. Selfish, I know, but it's what I want. So, all plans for London is shelved. Not com not completely never gonna happen, just shelved for the time being. And um, all spending habits are also being shelved as of now. Like seriously. I, I went on a little bit of a, a shopping trip this past weekend and um, picked up some things for my birthday because it's my birthday this month, May 19th, two weeks from today. Hey, hey, I'm gonna be 25. Um, so I bought a little bit of makeup. I know I shouldn't have, but it's my birthday treat to myself. I do it every year. And then I'm reorganizing my makeup and stuff, and it's 
actually disgusting. I'm actually disgusting myself right now looking at it all. It's a horrendous amount of makeup that nobody needs and I want to get rid of a whole lot of it before I ever purchase any more. And it's not just the makeup, it's also books, body care things, clothing things. Like, I've, I'm not allowed to buy any more clothes until I get rid of some. I have some already bagged up to go away to charity shops or to go away to the conscious scheme at H&M. Like, if you bring a bag of clothes, they give you a £5 voucher. So I've got stuff already packed away to go to that and um but I also want to get rid of like another say 50 pieces of clothing just get rid of it it's too much I, I work five days a week I only wear my own clothes two days a week so I don't need tons and tons of clothes you know it's it's retarded um so yeah. So basically I'm extending my project pan and don't worry I'm not going to spend this entire video going through all the items. Just informing you of it. I will leave a link in the info box. I'll make a blog post all about it and list the items there. Because um, I know I'd, I'd initially done this back in October and picked items and again in January and then sort of petered off thinking you know oh it's too much it's too much blah 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 um some pathetic excuse that I made I can't even remember what it was um but this time this time I'm going for it um I want to do a project 250 pound and that, that's not makeup solely that's all all the things, <laughs> all the things beauty related um, include shower stuff, perfume, nail polish and I will I will catalogue it all in my blog post and I'm not allowed to buy a single other beauty item until those are all finished because it's just, it's sickening, it's ridiculous is disgusting and it needs to stop. So if you want to post a comment down below telling me how disgusting it is to own how much makeup I do, feel free. I need it right now. I need to be berated for my behaviour. Please, please do. Honest. It's fine. I can take it. I'm a big girl. Um, but yeah, so that's happening. And just to give you a bit of a visual of my issue, see this box of makeup? This is probably more than the average woman owns. I know my mother doesn't own half this much. In fact, I don't know anybody who owns this much makeup. And to give you a bit of perspective, this is probably a tenth of what I own. Maybe even a fifteenth. Just to put in perspective how ridiculous this is getting. And I kept saying to myself, you know, it's fine, it's under control, it's gonna be fine. And then, you know, oh, I'm dropping things. And then, you know, I did all that math about, you know, you can only use like eight lipsticks a year and whatnot, and I'm guessing it's probably the same for like lip glosses and eyeshadow takes like a freaking eternity to use up. Um, so yeah, I'm cutting myself off entirely from frivolous spending. Unless I run out of something, nothing is being bought. And the only thing I will possibly run out of is conditioner. I've also decided to only keep one of the Pan That Palette Challenge palettes out. That's always so hard to say. How about I just say PTP? I've decided only to keep one of the PTP palettes out and that is the Au Naturel from Sleek. And um, look how much progress I've made on it. I've made a massive dip here. Hit pan, hit pan, hit pan, hit pan, hit pan. 
one. Oh yeah, I'm well impressed. So I'm going to keep this one out. It's going to be my main source of eyeshadow for the time being. And I also finished a primer, um, the Gosh Velvet Touch Primer. I honestly, I didn't think it was close to finishing and then suddenly it was. It's, see, it's just little, you can't even use that. It's, it's done. It's dead. And other major progress, my face affinity has also stopped pumping out, but there is still like this much product in it. Um, I'm keeping it upside down so that I can scrape out as much as I can. So while I'm here, let's get on with the makeup basket of the week. And um, it will mostly, in future, consist of the products I showed you in that box. Oh yeah. So for primer, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. I like this stuff. It's kind of like a cream primer. Um, I will squirt a little bit out to show you. See, it's kind of like a kind of... Kind of like a kind of... <laughs> um, it's kind of a moisturiser kind... I, I need to stop saying kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, so it's like a moisturising primer, um, but it's also mattifying at the same time and um, smooths out the skin and just makes it all soft and velvety for putting on foundation and I really, really, really enjoy it. So that's going in there. Being as it's almost empty anyway, I'm going to continue using the Facefinity and I'm also going to mix it with the um, 20, um, the Superstay, Superstay, um, words, tip of tongue, the Superstay foundation which is like, it looks like there's more in it than there actually is, it's down to here. So like, just down to where it says 24 hour makeup, not much at all. So I'm gonna start using a lot. I'm gonna continue using the um, Quick Cover Concealer from number 7. As you can see there is very little left of that. Get as much use out of it as I can. Um, for concealer, I'm going to use the NYX um, High Definition Photogenic Concealer because I remember this being almost empty last time I used it before I kind of misplaced it. I found it again in a drawer in amongst some eyeliners, which is why I couldn't find it. Why would I put concealer with eyeliners? Silly. Very silly. Um, for powder... Well, to set my makeup, I'm going to be using the Aven Eau Thermal Water. I really enjoy this. I'm also going to use the bigger can. I have like a, I think it's a 300ml can I have, but it's a way over there. So Aven Thermal Water for misting over my foundation for powder. Um... For powder, I'm going to be using these two. This, the Maybelline one is what I'm going to use to set my makeup with and the Superstay is what I'll use for touch-ups. For highlighting, I've pulled out the... No, that's not it. For highlight, I'm going to use the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter is what I have on my cheeks today. It's hella shimmery, but I enjoy it immensely. And um, it's one of the smallest highlights I own, so I can imagine myself actually finishing this one. For lips, I've pulled out four products. We have the Clarins Natural Lip Perfector, the e.l.f. Matte Lip Pencil in Natural. 
um, the Chanel lip gloss in Pitti Pesh and that's not the one I wanted. This one. The MAC lipstick in Jam Over Roses. This was a limited edition one so that's why it's in the project pan. I'm trying to get rid of all my limited edition products. So that's that. Um, for eyes I have the natural or oh, natural sleek palette. For an eye base, I'm still using the vanilla eye mousse. I'm getting quite a way through this now. I'm about halfway through. Very exciting. For eyeliner, I'm using the Jordana Fabu Liner and the Max Factor Little Eye Pencil. It's getting so small. So small, so small, so small. Um, for brows, that was something else I was a little disgusting at. Why do I have so many brow products? So many. Um, so for my brows, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Black Brown Eye Pencil, Eyebrow Pencil even, and the Maybelline Brow Drama in Medium Brown. So that's going to be my brow combination. For mascara, I'm going to use this duo, the Clinique High Impact Mascara and the Sumptuous Extreme from Estee Lauder because it's still going very strong. It's starting to turn a little, but I'll keep going with it till it's done. For... I forgot blush and bronzer. That's what I forgot. For blush and bronzer, how do I show you the colour? Got these two guys, the Terra Saharian from... Uh, YSL, it's got a massive pan going now. It makes me happy. I don't know if it'll show up properly, but can you see the dip? Oh, that's a big dip. And then we have Nude by Seventeen, which has a bit of pan going as well. So those are all the products I'm going to be using this week. I'm super, super excited. Hopefully I'll be able to finish some of them this week and that would be super awesome. And um, I will try and do a blog post along with this with swatches and everything. And if I have, it will be in the info box. Everything, everything in the info box. Always in the info box. Um, sorry for it being such a Oh, I just hit my hand. <laughs> Sorry for being such a long video, I just had a lot to talk about. And um, as I mentioned, I did buy some makeup for my birthday and that will be coming up soon. Um, maybe in the next week or so. I'll probably keep it until my birthday, So, because I haven't touched any of it. I've like, well, tell a lie, I have like physically touched it, you know, tried it on and stuff, but I'm not actively using it, if that makes sense. It's just kind of sitting in a corner, in a bag, not allowed to so touch thank it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.